So does that mean I'm on? Yes! Okay. Alright. Looks like I'm on. Yeah, okay. Alright, um, guys. Okay. This is the first proper right. test of the stream. Looks like I'm on. Okay. Sorry I don't have a camera, just to start right, with. Um, Let me um, okay. mute the, this is the first proper background. Test of the okay, sorry I don't have a camera. Um, uh, sorry, just trying to get this. Um, there we go, creative area. Um, I don't have a camera. Uh, basically, I've got a Mac Mini and I haven't found a camera that seems to work with it at the moment, um, but I will eventually, hopefully, get a camera later on. Um, but this is just a test stream. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, it might work, it might not. Um, this is just really to try and see if I can get uh, my stream working. So um, if you are watching or you do chop in or you can watch the, uh, the video afterwards, um, hope you enjoy. Uh, watching Ang, and feel free to ask questions but bear with me because I might not be able to respond as quickly as you might would like but let's see okay right okay hopefully this is going to work and one other thing I want to try and do is if I can I want to try and record my screen as well so hopefully it's not going to be too taxing on my computer record mm -mm. <coughs> wearing away okay um, while it's doing its thing and I say hopefully it will record it as well um, so this is quite taxing on the computer but hopefully it'll be fine um, the reason I for those who recognize this character these guys from um, from Avatar not the t not the movie not the um, James Cameron movie or the uh, Shalamar whatever his face, is, face name is film but this is from the cartoon and um, I was watching the cartoon fairly recently and just had a bit of a doodle of this guy in the background and I just decided that I wanted to um, basically uh, redraw a particular pose for him. so this is the pose I've come up with um, and what was I going to say uh, but I tried to make him a bit more of a teenage ang hence the, the muscle tone and, and even the uh, the little staff flying thing, kite I guess, um, is different than in the cartoon. But it's just as my t personal take on it. So just thought I'd start my first stream by just doing a little bit of colouring. I don't know how long I'm going to be on, probably for about an hour if that. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Alright. Okay. Uh, where's, now where to start? Right, so I've put a, a base colour on the bottom just so that I've got some kind of, um, so I can see where there's gaps and things like that. So what I need to do is just get some mask around the outside of him. And there we are. And select a mask <laughs> gonna smoothen off the edges a bit I found for me Percy is 10 by 0.3 or 0.5 even tends, tends to be about right for my level okay Oops. Let's try that again. That didn't work. 
so, so ten by point five. But let me just turn the light on one second. See what I'm doing now. Okay, and I'm going to give a new folder and put the mask on, and then put the layers in. Okay. Wow, this is interesting. I've done this before, but I feel really nervous now for some reason. Okay. So what I need to do first of all is to get a colour. In fact, let me get the skin colours going on this one. Um, hmm, what's in the colours there? Window. Colour. Not quite sure what colour's not in there, but there you go. Right, so swatches. Oops. Uh, 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 uh. We'll do. Just try to find the right type of colours here. Um. It's a shame they don't have one called skin. I don't want to go paint, paint colour swatches. I don't know. Append. Right. Just trying to find a nice skinnish colour. Oh yes, this other thing I need to do is change the brush. Uh, I'm using the ink brush from Jazza. What I do is I give it a bit of smoothness and I just give it sort of an 80 90 percent softness because then I get a much nicer feel to it. If anyone's interested, I'm actually using a Huey on at the minute. Huey, Huey 19. Okay. Right. Um, let's ah, just realised the master was the wrong way around. There we go. That's better. Okay, so the first thing we're just going to do is just going to colour in the skin tones and everything else. Now I know you can use the uh, paintbrush tool, but I found that using the paintbrush tool tends to not give me as much accuracy and you have to colour in the actual line work and then you have to remove the lines whereas this way I can avoid um, avoid the line works completely uh, where's the bucket, where's the bucket gone? There we are, paint bucket and then I can paint bucket yeah but I find that um, if you if you literally click into the actual line work, it doesn't quite um, it doesn't quite fill it fill up the whole picture. Whereas when you f when you actually use the paint it in, if I remove the, the line work, you can see the whole head is clear. But if I did if I did this with um, on the actual s screen and remove the black lines, you can have all these little lines around it. Okay, so that's the head. So I'm going to group that. Head. Okay. So we'll have another group which we're going to call body. In fact, in fact, I'm going to call it chest. Let's specify it more. Because I think with the um, 
layers if you need to kind of specify it a bit better what bit you're colouring in because what I've done in the past is I've coloured everything and ended up having all these um, colours on different layers and for, for example if I did the head and the hands together on one layer if I wanted to just focus on the face I have to remember to do the hand at the same time whereas if I do it on a separate layer for each bit it's much better now I'm gonna do something that looks weird but I'm gonna pretend that that finger is not there and the reason I'm doing that is again it's something I've, I've been learning while I'm doing this is <clears throat> it just helps me to sort of see where everything goes and again I'm gonna do it as if the whole chest is there or the whole body is there don't have to but again I've just found it a lot easier to paint the whole section because I'm going to paint over the top of this anyway so it doesn't matter um, it doesn't really matter if I paint over the hand because the hand is going to get another paint on top of the hand which you'll see in a minute okay. now before today um, I was actually using a, a Wacom bamboo which is still great, lovely, lovely device, um, really good for intro le entry level. But it was the, you had the old disconnect where you were just um, what's the word I was looking for? Where you were um, oh gosh, I'm trying to find the word, right, words here. Um, where you were looking at the screen, but the tablet was somewhere else. So it's very difficult to see what your, you know, how can I put it? It was very difficult to see what you were actually drawing. In fact, let's let's just make this whole body there. I know I don't have to worry about this because it will get covered up, but it just makes it easy for me to see where I'm where I'm going. <coughs> and I'm not, as you can probably tell, I'm not really used to speaking on stream, so please bear with me I'll, all things going well as I go as I get better at this and as I learn um, it will become a bit easier I'll be more, more fluid and also I'll have, hopefully I'll have interaction as well okay so if I go to following so I'm just trying to check on my screen to invite anybody else from f my Facebook friends who want to watch so now we'll do the hands and as I said all of these bits are on separate separate layers now so I'm not going to go to full full render so I'll probably only spend about an hour or two depends on how into it I get oops but um, I'm just going to get the base colors on the very least. So that's the first hand. Okay. Channels. Now I'm just going to hide the chest a second. And the only reason I'm doing that is so that I can see that I've got all the hand filled in. Because what will happen is I'll end up doing the chest and forget to put the hand on. Okay. all these fingers in now one thing I've been doing is I've been um, really working on my figure drawing it's, it's been one of the biggest weaknesses for me and in some ways um, I've allowed it to or myself to feel that I'm not as good as other people because of it now you may depending on your skill level you may think that that this is quite quite good and I'm and to be quite honest I'm quite happy with how this is looking you know I'm not disappointed with this I feel like definitely for me this is definitely one of the better uh, uh, hum, you know human poses that I've done 
in my drawing career. Let me go to my dashboard a second. Um, but but figure drawing is not one of my strong suits. It's definitely something I do struggle with to do well. And I've been watching a chap called Ink One, who some of you probably know already. And to be quite honest, he had his what well, just watching his channel alone has really really helped me humongously to get better at my um, at my artwork. It's helped me a ton. Um, just, just you know, just seeing the way in which he does it, the way in which he actions everything, it has been, you know, it's just really inspiring just watching him. And, and there's other rights as well. You know, there are other people that I've seen on Twitch who have been incredible. But Ink One is probably the first one I've I've come across where I've been so impacted by what he's done that. how can I put it that I've actually seen my, my art grow just watching him you know and I can't say that about everybody and there's you know, everybody's had their own things there's, you know everybody's done their own um, what's the word um I'm trying to think of the word, but what it? You know, has their own techniques and their own designs, but um, his particular style has kind of been a bit more. Um, it's just something about what the way in which he's he draws that, that somehow inspired me and somehow really. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? just elevated my confidence a bit and been able to push myself a bit more than I had in the past and I think that's really important to be able to do that right okay so now I need my reference a bit here so bear with me a second while I just go into a reference because I need to get the colours right for Ang So I've just got to do that now, because I know his cloak, the top of his cloak is red, but I'm not sure about the rest of the colours. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There is normally a way of sharing your video, but for some reason I can't seem to find it. But I'm not familiar. This is my first stream, so again, please bear with me. It's not streamed before uh, I have streamed before but not successfully on the drawing side so please bear with me while I learn how to to do all this on the fly okay artwork mm -mm -mm, comic characters avatar and ang Okay. Um. Okay. Right, so it's kind of a yellowy so it's a sort of yellowish colour for his um suit, so let me do that. Let me go back to Photoshop. another layer and get some sort of yellow colour so we'll go to swatches again I think that's probably about the right sort of yellow ok so let's zoom in again let's get rid of that okay. and again I'm going to pretend that that little cloth bit isn't there because I'll add that later Oh, just realised there's some skin there I need to sort out. <coughs> um, yeah, we'll colour this yellow for now. I might change this later on. Do 
just for consistency. Now the Huion is really is I, I've personally I've only used it once and I've got nothing to compare it to. I've not used um any Centiques or any of or Wacom Companion 2 or any of those kind of uh, machines. So I've got nothing really to compare this on other than the, the drawing tablet itself. But but so far I am I am really enjoying how this machine works. I do feel like it works really nicely. It does have a tiny bit of lag, but not using a Wacom Centique or anything like that, I don't know if it how that compares to any of those. But compared to using a you know a traditional drawing tablet, it is way, way better. Because I can feel like I'm, I can draw properly with the freedom of moving my hands where I want it and seeing what I'm drawing rather than having to guess that I'm putting the pen in the right place of the um, of the tablet. So it makes a huge, huge difference just doing that. Okay. Just getting all these little lines. On there. Because I'm just doing just putting some base colour on it for now. Escape, save. Okay, so we've got yellow now. That yellow doesn't quite feel right, so I'm going to get my bucket tool again and choose a different swatch colour. It just doesn't quite feel the right, the right yellow. Let's try a slightly different one. Let's have a look at my reference again so let's minimize that I think that's the right color um, let's try a slightly different one Yeah, I feel that feels more more natural, so we'll stick with that one. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, like I said, I did notice that some of the chest I did miss some bits, so I'll go back to the chest a second. Gonna zoom in. Get my brush. Pick that. Back to the brush. I missed this bit down here. In fact, in fact, let's let's do this. Make it really clear that what's what. Because then that way, there's no denying I've got everything. Then. Yeah, but um, going back to what I said about the Huion, you know, it's from my from my experience of using it, it's it ha it does the job. It really does the job. It's um, it's smooth. The screen's quite decent. It's not too hot, which is really you know really helpful. Uh, <coughs> and you know I can I can live with the lag because compared to not seeing what I'm drawing, it's you know it's it's just so much so much better to be able to see what you're actually creating. Right, so. I actually need to change the name of that. That's trouser, which is as you can, <laughs> any Americans watching. Uh, that's that's basically English version of pants. P 
pants in England is uh, underwear, <laughs> in case you don't know. And then cloak. Okay, so we want a nice red for this one. Um, let's see how bright is his red. Whoops. How bright is the red? Oh, I see it's more of an orange, actually. That's interesting. Wasn't expecting it to be. I thought it was red, but it's actually orange. So, is that a good orange for the cloak? It looks all right. That's actually it seemed about right, actually. So we'll go back to the brush. Okay. And again, just gonna. In fact, I'm gonna move this layer to underneath the chest and hands because and the head only because it's quite a bright bold colour and it means that I don't have to worry about going over the face when I'm painting it so and again I'm going to colour the whole thing even though there's other areas where I need to fill it in but again the reason I'm doing this is when I've done paint this sort of stuff in the past I've focused so much on the little intricate details of for example there's like that little bit there I would have set, painted that separately and what I've ended up doing is focusing on that one little bit not taking into account the whole the whole image and then I'm spending more time than I actually need to when it's a, um, on that individual spot but if I do the picture as a whole it just is so much faster and quicker and easier to con to focus on the shading correctly. So, for example, say um, right, so say this this the chest part on the bottom. Uh, let me get my, so you know this bit here. Oh, I can't even see it. Um, mm -mm -mm. This part here, that little bit there. If I had coloured that, if you know, if I tried to get the shading right, it wouldn't necessarily match the top part of the chest. Oop. it wouldn't match the top part of the chest but if I do the whole chest as one big block it will flow into each other it's probably difficult to explain it um, once, I, once I can get my foot camera up I can probably show you a bit more easier but um, but at the moment that's the only way I can I can show you in a minute uh, so I'm just try still trying to get myself on Facebook at the minute my Facebook channel. Okay, right, so um anyway let's move on. And right, so we need to check one other thing with Ang and his cloak. So it is just on the top, okay. Right. Okay. Now this is part of his cloak as well, so now I'm gonna change now it's a bit more tricky because we've got this arm and sh arm here as well so I'm going to have to improvise a little bit because I thought I, when I did the drawing originally I thought I'd cater for that but on reflection I hadn't quite quite done it correctly but that's fine This was just for fun anyway, so I'm not gonna worry not gonna stress out too much. Okay, so that's that. And then this is a bit of his cloak just here. And again I'm gonna go past the hands. But you notice how it's not going over the fingers this time, even though I'm drawing over the fingers. I'll tell you one thing that's good though, is it's not actually um, not recording the brush strokes, which is quite interesting. I thought it would have done with you know the uh, curse and stuff like that. And then the other thing is this bandana thing. I'll, you know, I'll do the bandana separately actually. I'll get saying that. Um, right, okay, so that's that cloak. Oh, a little bit there. That's the cloak. So back to my layers. And another group. So Dan Dana. 
don't know if that's the right word for it, but that's what I'm going to call it for now. <laughs> okay. And this time I've put it on top of it, so it should go over the hand a little bit. But again, I'll, I can, because the thing is, I can delete it or I can mask it out, so it's not the end, be all and end all. That's the beauty of it. Okay. not put worth doing the um, the bucket tool here because it's such a small area so it's just better to just do it straight but as I said once I get to that point you know I'll, I'll any bits like this I'll remove so don't worry about it going over for the moment and I'm wondering whether I should just make this the same color as well oh yes there's this part as well I forgot about that nearly forgot so let's rotate it and let me in now that I know how to do the Facebook invites I can do that now <coughs> okay and e e e I'm sure that over time I will get much much faster doing this but at the moment just taking it easy doing as much as I can and just getting used to streaming now I know Ink One is actually on right now and normally I watch him but um, I will have to catch his VOD later on because I really wanted to do my own stream tonight but um he, if you ever get a chance to watch him, he's an awesome streamer, and it's not. To, and he's not. It's not. To, he's. He's not just good at the artwork, but he's just really entertaining to watch. You know, he's just super entertaining, and I do enjoy watching his streams when I get the chance. something there. Oh I've gone offline for a second for some reason. Why have I gone offline? Oh it's just a tiny glitch. Just a bit of a glitch. Okay that's fine. And uh, this is going to be all friends. friends. There we go. Alright. And again I'm sorry I've got no music because I did when I did the first few streams I tried to put music on like YouTube and stuff like that it didn't quite work um, hopefully as I, as I get better and get better set up I will ha add music and stuff like that which will make it a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable to watch but for the moment I'm just gonna have to bear with me on that I'm gonna make this the same color even though it's probably not even existing I'm gonna put it the same color I'm not gonna mess around with it get it in there now I did notice that Ang has a couple of little armband things, so I'm gonna even though I haven't incorporated incorporated in my image, just for consistency I'm just gonna add something in there. So it's there. And I know he's got one here as well. Um, 
I know it's there, I'm not too sure about that. Oh, it's actually... Ah, right, okay. Right. Let me change that slightly. It's more of an armband here. Gone again. There we go. All right, and let's look at my image again. Yeah, I better color the top of his shirt the same color as well as his trousers. So let's do that. So trousers. Call this shirt. Okay, let's hide that again. Oh, need to move that back up. Select this colour and back up here. Now I've gone over a bit there, but I'll sort that in a minute. Oop. Now I know it's just gone over the hands, but I'll move that. Uh, yeah, I can move that behind the hands anyway, so it's not a problem. Right, I've noticed the screen keeps cutting out, so I'm guessing that's what they mean by dropping frames. But you have to bear with me on put up with that for the moment. Okay. Because at the moment I'm using um, the Wi-Fi of my house, so I do eventually need to get a cable so that it doesn't cut out like that, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. I think that covers that part. Right, now I just need to, like I said, need to move this down a bit. Um, so if I move it under the hands and head, in fact it might be worth moving the trousers down there as well. Just so that it's in the same. Oh, hello. Why have we. Oh, what? Cloak. Right, so it's the cloak. We've got a little line on there. Oops, come on. For some reason we've got an extra little line here, so let's erase that. Erase that. There we are. Just clean up little bits. Okay, and I need to clean up some of the shirt. Because I'm I went over up here. That's it. And cloak. Again we've got a little bit extra here, so let's get rid of that. All right. Okay, so the skin color is not massively smooth. Radical. Let me see if I can change the skin color a bit. Always uh, 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 more yellow on his skin color. That's interesting. All 
All right, I'll do with the skin color later. I'm just gonna get the basic basics down, just for now. Okay, so his his arrow thing on his head is blue. Ooh, don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, so we'll do the arrow thing next, I think. And if I put that on where the head is, in fact, let's put it inside the head actually. And we'll call this arrow. Actually, you know what? Let's not do it that way. Let's let's not do it in that group just yet. Let's put it on the outside. That's it. And we need some kind of subtle blue. That's probably the right blue. Back to the brush. Come on, there we are. As I say, I'm just putting the base colours on for now. Let's make that smaller to get that little arrow bit in the top. Bucket tool. Fill in the little gaps. Okay. Quick save. Always save your work. So need to now find some more pictures of the uh the kite or whatever you call that thing. What I'll do is while that's doing let me see if there's anything on the cross. So these boots are orange as well, so I can use the orange for the boots, so let's do the boots next. So zoom out get the brush get that add a new layer uh, sorry group first that's it so boots would need to go over the trousers part boots okay let's zoom in a bit and brush again Because it's got the mask, I can go out right outside the mask. It's only here, at these top bits of the leg, that I need to be a bit careful. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Just zoom in on a tiny bit more because I can see that I've gone over the edges slightly, so I'll just make sure I have 
I am filling all the spaces. But also not going over. See like there I can see I've gone over a bit. Oops, just minimize that. <coughs> brush okay bucket tool as well I don't like the fact they've moved the bucket tool it was much better when it was with the dropper having it hidden the way it's hidden is a bit irritating compared to what it was before because you it used to be where the um, gradient tool is so you click on gradient and then you just change it to bucket tool and it stays that way but now they've moved it for some reason I don't know if they've issued a new shortcut whatever but I actually find that quite a bit irritating but there you go okay so let me try and find a pitch with the kite ideally there we are Alright, so the kite is virtually the same orange, but just more on the brown side. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Right, so you're starting to take shape. You're starting to see all the the colours coming off. Oh, for some reason the um, arm is... Um, missing a bit. Uh, so shirt, where's shirt? I see. I see. I see. It's the it's the hand. Um, nope, it's not the hand. It must be the chest. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to do a bit of removing so you can see the the cloak a bit more. and let's go back here back to brush there we go alright ok so another quick save ok so, and take the brush colour brush and we could change the let's try and get different um, Color for the staff. So we need to put no layer. Staff. And that needs to go underneath the bandana. I should be underneath everything actually. So it needs to be under everything. Yeah. Okay, so back to brush. Now hopefully it's dark enough to stand out against the rest of it. But once I put all the shading and things like that, it will, it will do that anyway. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to make these things that colour as well. Actually, before I do that, let me put on a different 
layer. So that's that. Wing veins. This is just so I know what piece I'm actually doing. Let's move that. I think I need to zoom in a bit as well. And brush. Anything I've got over, I'll edit it later. I will delete it. Although that's interesting, why is it coming out of the mask? That doesn't make sense. Why is it coming out of the mask? Shouldn't happen at all. Ah, oh, that's why. Hmm. At least I think that's why. Yeah, for some reason. That's it. Right, there we go. Just being a bit. Oh, go away. Just being a bit awkward. There we go. Right. For some reason it wasn't in the mask, it wasn't in the actual um, mask folder. So it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Okay. Um, actually I'll do this wing vein this side. No, actually I'll do the small one first. Because then I can get them all out of the way then. I can do the big one on a separate layer even. That actually might be quite a good idea actually. Because the more individual it is, the easier it is to manipulate later on. When you because when I first did any of these sort of artworks, um what happened was I ended up just get putting so many layers on it and I got lost in which layer was on and I got quite frustrated when I was trying to, when I noticed there was a thing wrong with it, had to go through hundreds of layers just to find out what bit was actually not working. Like here for example, that I noticed there's a bit, oops, on the staff where it's not quite, there's some green is still showing. And I need to make sure there's no green showing at all, it's all completely filled. It right, okay. So that's so. If I make that small veins, then we'll do another one for large veins. I think on this one, I'm going to leave this one as a set as one big group as well. I think that's going to help tons, okay, and come out slightly. What I'll probably do is I'll probably finish off this the base the base colour on this one and then I will call it call it for the night. Cause it's just really to get going. And then if I can, and I'm not feeling too tired from work, I might come on tomorrow and do the next stage. But we'll see, I mean what time is it now? It's eight o'clock. Well eight almost half eight. So if we say about go on to about nine o'clock, so by about nine I'll probably take 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 a leave of absence. I mean I might even if I can might even do some of this in the morning if I wake up early enough. What I'm going to probably do with these wings is rather than make them all red and everything else, give them a bit more, um, give them a little bit more of a realistic look by making them more yellowy and almost like skin. I could use skin or whatever to 
create the the fins or whatever and I just noticed I've got to get rid of that as well so let me quickly get rid of that so go into my layer mask get my wand um, boom change the setting to 10.5 again go into here hmm why is it not let me delete it okay so it's done that but it's not let me delete it for some reason hmm Hmm. That's interesting. For some reason, it's not let me delete it. There we go. Right. It's done now. Okay. Let's get back to my large veins. Okay, so let's do this one. bit here okay, let's see how we are where we are right so it's coming along it's definitely coming along so I think I need what I need is sort of some kind of yellowy skin colour for the fin, for the um, inside. So I'm thinking might be that colour might be good. So go into layers and underneath these, I think that's the one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Call it wing panels. Just try to find the right name for it. Okay. Let's zoom in again. Let's see if this colour works. And what I've done is I've put it on the back as well, so so it should show through. It shouldn't actually go over the top. There we go. And. The magic of television, so to speak. <laughs> um, if I do it like this, I should be able to colour the whole back bit without too much hassle. So, again, in the bucket tool, boom, boom. Oh, not quite. Why is it done that? So, I need a bit more here, the looks of it. I don't want to colour that bit at the back. Let's go again. Boom, there we are. Now I think that colour's not quite right, so we'll change that colour in a minute. It's just a bit too... Then again, though, once I colour it in, once I put some shade in, it might be alright, actually. Right. Okay, let's see. Let's try this one. And again, we'll get the old bucket tool. 
Actually, I think that works better. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Then again, it's too much like his body colour, so... Tell you what. Let's do this. Do it the old-fashioned way. And try that. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Right, I like that. Okay, so go back to my layers. Make sure I'm there. Okay. Oops. Okay, and zoom in again. Gonna make the brush really big this time. In fact, tell you what. Tell you what. Let's go to town. Oops, not, maybe not quite that much to town. Actually, saying that, could possibly do that right behind the um, right behind the whole body because it is behind the whole thing anyway. So, oops, so boom. Nope. Don't want to make. Back to the bucket. Boom. Boom. Okay. Make sure it's all done. Bring the stuff up to there. There we go. All right. So just a couple more bits to do going forwards. We just need to add mouth and some detail on the legs. So if I go to where the boots are, go up one, do group that. Boot detail. I'm going to zoom in again, get up close. Going to take the colour of the boot, make it a little bit darker, get that brush smaller. Uh, is that going to work or is that going to look silly? Just trying to work out wh if this is the right tone of the colour because in the in the main image it does stand out a bit I don't think this is standing out quite as well. Um, yeah, it's more brown. Okay, so... Let's delete all this. Uh, make it much more brown. Yeah, that looks bit more like it. Is that too brown? Let's check my reference again. No, nope, that's probably that right brown. Let me zoom in a bit because I know I've gone. Over, I think I've gone over the lines a bit as well. So let's just just make sure I've filled in all the gaps. Okay. Just move where I've gone over too much. Back to my brown again. Flip it around. Get some more brown going.
there's no point doing the bucket on this bit. This way I'll do it. Oop, don't want to. <laughs> we don't like what they've done. Adobe, if you're even watching this, please put back the bucket to where it's supposed to be instead of where it is right now because it's horrible there. It's much more of a hassle having it all the way hidden over there. Okay, and the last thing we'll do is the face. And in fact, what I what I'm going to do as well. So I'm gonna go to the hand quickly. See now, you might notice that earlier on I painted the whole of the chest and went everywhere. Now that it's all covered up, you can see where the floors are. So now I know what I need to do with the hand. So I just need to remove. Um, not actually not not the hand actually the bandana so I just need to delete some of the bandana so that the hand shows through so there we go so let's do that quickly get rid of that let me zoom in a bit more so I can get rid of all the little bits there that's it Okay. Okay. So zoom again up to the face. So we're just going to do these little face bits. So just to finish off. Okay, so where the head is. Group that, call that face. Face. Then eyes. And we're going to default this one. So we just have plain, boring old eye white for the eyes. Hopefully. There we are. And then another one for teeth. Since we've got the white, Let's remove this bit down here. Okay. Then under the teeth, we've got the mouth, and for this we just need a nice good red or pinkish red, um, it's a good red here. Not too sure about that red, to be honest. Doesn't feel quite right. Let's go for this one and get my paint bucket tool. Oops. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, no, that still doesn't feel right. No, it's better, better for than nothing for now. Okay, and I think that's where we're going to leave it for now. Oh, just notice that the vein, there's a vein thing there needs to be gone, so let's get rid of that. Um, wing veins, small veins, get my eraser, get rid of that bit there. And that 
as well. Going over the top. Right, I think that's going to leave it for the time being. Now, if I take off the line work, you can see the di you can see um, zoom in a bit. You can see how everything's kind of more or less. There's there's very little gaps on it, very little gaps in between. But the good thing is I can see where I need to just fix it uh, later on. So that's it without the lines, and then with the lines, it looks like that. Actually, you know, let's let's carry on. Actually, let's carry on for a bit longer. Um, let's try and fix these little bits. So we'll start with the yellow because it's not nine o'clock yet. So let's carry on. Let's let's carry on until we get to nine. Because what I can do is I can now fill in all these little odd areas. So it's all one colour. A nice smooth image. It looks like I'm going to have to fix the mask as well, but we'll fix the mask later. I'll do that off stream. But let's just get all these little spots, spot cleans as it were. Make this image as clean as I can possibly make it. in all the gaps. Because the black lines there is just basically where I've had the image underneath it. So it shouldn't matter too much because if I, for example, if I um, go to where the yellow, so the green bit is, which is this, that will all disappear but this is just so I can get it all I'm just doing this so that I can get it all at least looking smooth enough so when I take that off I've not missed anything so I can still use it as a guide because eventually I don't want to have any black lines on here at all and it'll be completely all painted in um, I know some other artists do it a slightly different way and that's cool on them and I will like Sam Peterson for example, the way he paints, in fact him and Voodoo Val actually the way they paint is completely different to what I'm doing right now and I, I'm more of a line drawer artist but I want to try and learn how to paint the way they, they paint because it's really good style okay so that's that one ah rats, just realised something uh, darn it Paint it all in one place. Uh, okay. What's done is done. done the ultimate ultimate sin painting on the wrong layer but um, I'll have to fix that later I'll do that, do, that, do that later on tonight before I come back on tomorrow or whenever but never never to paint on the same layer but you get so into it you forget you forget you got a, you're on what layer you're on I thought I was on the right layer but I wasn't But it's okay. It's fixable. Okay. I think that's that bit done. Okay, so the next layer up is the small veins. So I believe it's those up there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oops, wrong way. Wrong 
what I'm just trying to do is just trying to get it all nice and straight and neat. I think what I'm going to do is probably adjust the mask a bit slightly as well. So it all matches. Looks smooth. Well, what's happened there? Why is it doing that? That's not, that's not what I want. I think I must have hit eraser by accident. That said though, could do the bit of erasing here and there. That's it. Right back to brush. Okay, and then the large veins. And so all I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning up the little areas. So when I come to the next stage, which is slightly more more refined detail, oops, at least everything's you know the line work is is smooth enough you know everything's fitting in the right place see like here that needs a bit of a raising going on needs to come here that's it smoothing that out there we go same here oops This is where the lag really kicks in. And then brush out the last bit. And then the other side. Anyway, I think I'm probably going to stop soon because my apple getting it's getting really hot. <laughs> so it's probably going to start slowing down anyway in a minute. Just smooth out these lines a bit. Probably do a little bit of a raising here. Just to smooth it out a bit more. <coughs> okay, fifteen more minutes, and then I'm gonna wrap it up but for those who've been watching you know if, you, if, uh, if you're still there thanks thanks very much for taking the time to to watch me I know I'm not the most expert streamer in the, out there <laughs> um, but I do appreciate you taking the time to you know to enjoy the stream enjoy watching my attempt to doing an alternative version of Aang hope you are enjoying it Okay, so staff next. And oops, back to brush. Okay. And now 
long, I know I'm probably doing this the really long, laborious way, and there's probably much better ways of doing this. But it's a skill I'm just still trying, you know, still developing, still honing my skills in terms of doing this and doing it really well. And I'm sure over time, this will become a lot faster. And it already has actually, to be fair, I mean, when I started doing this, I was a lot more finicky about what I was doing and I'm a lot looser than I used to be when I first started doing any of this. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, trousers next. In fact, this is probably why, why when I did the earlier on it didn't show. Oops. Need to pick the right colour. Get rid of that. In fact, I'll do this trousers later because uh, I know I did that on the wrong layer earlier, so let's not worry about that for now. So we'll do the boots. keep forgetting to shut that down because what I'm doing is I'm actually recording this as well so once I've done this picture it will eventually be um, a speed art video once it's all completed if you do want to find uh, my speed art stuff um, I think I've put the YouTube link in here if not it's uh, if you just search um, uh, John Young John Young Art or John Young on uh, what's the word on YouTube you should be able to find me I will if I haven't already I will try and find a way of putting the link on that so you got it for future reference okay okay so that's that boot detail again da, uh, uh. I mean, some videos what you could do also do is if you type in the word Jazzonians, last of the Jazzonians, which is basically the Jazza program, that was one of the pictures I did. So you'll probably find me the quickest way that way. So I know someone's trying to get me up on WhatsApp, so I apologise for that noise. You can hear that. But they are going to have to wait, I'm afraid. as soon as I'm finished I will get back in touch with them so I'm not ignoring them it's just timing is a, is of the essence I'll tell you one thing I'm glad that this stream is actually this uh, is actually working because when I tried this before um, first of all I couldn't get any sound at all so you're not hearing my boring voice talking <laughs> talking over everything um, and I couldn't get the music working but I couldn't even get the the artwork to stream so you had this silent stream when it did work it had a silent stream but then you didn't always see the actual process of work while it was while I was doing it so I wasn't able to watch what I was doing as I'm doing it so at least at least this time round I can actually do that okay so the next one I need to do what is the cloak? So escape there. Make sure brush. That's it. Close that. Zoom. Again, just trying to just clear up some, clean up some of this, and fill in all the gaps, so it looks nice and smooth. Because when it comes to actually painting the character later on, if there's no gaps in it, it'll be so much easier, and it'll look sharper as well. Because, like I said, when I first started doing all of this, 
what I was doing was um, I was uh, effectively using the line work, colouring in the little boxes and as soon as I removed the line work you had all these outlines everywhere and it was quite frustrating trying to fill those gaps in on the line work so I'm trying to avoid that by doing it this way so this is com in a way this is more experimental in terms of how I'm achieving this but I'm hoping that the ultimate the end goal the end result will be that um, that I have a nice picture nice smooth image to share with everybody when it when that when the time comes that's that's the the long term goal okay do 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 right form oh, oops don't want to move the layers okay so the head next so now this is going to be quite good because it's all the same colour so shouldn't be too difficult as long as I don't get carried away and colour everything at the same time okay so that's the head done the eyes I'll leave, the mouth I'll leave for now. Um, do the chest next. Just fill in these gaps. Oops. Good thing is there wasn't too much on the chest to, to do. Okay, and then the hands. We're almost done on this bit, which is good. And the hands. Once I've done this, I'll remove those black lines on the back so you can see clearly where we are with them. Okay. Okay. And last but by no means least, the bandana. I've got to remember I can't do, I can't go over that section there because of if you remember earlier, I had to remove it a little bit. I need to go a bit smaller here. It's quite a delicate little area. Okay. Back up again. Almost done. In a way, this is a slightly different technique I'm using as well because they didn't do it this way before. I just did all the base colours all in one big solid area. Okay, so save that. I am going to now hide that bit, and hopefully you can see that all the lines are all nice and smooth now. Um, let's just hide that a second. So there's no, no no little gaps and things like that. Okay. So if I just bring back this and I'm going to change that opacity slightly. And there you are. There you are. Alright, 
so I think I think that's that's a that's a wrap for tonight. I think we've done quite got quite a bit done this evening. So we've gone from just to show you um, we have gone from the line drawing that we did uh, that I did earlier on and ended up with a basic coloured version of Ang. So um, th thank you everybody for watching. Um, I will come back. I will try and come back tomorrow, if not on Friday, just to do, just to start adding a bit more detail, trying to get a bit more colour into it and everything else. Eventually, I'm hoping that this will be a completely line-free drawing. It'll be all painterly or whatever, and um, and then obviously I'll post it on my social media and um, you can also go to disco illustrations on Facebook as well that's where you see some of my other artwork so if you are interested go to disco star illustration um, I am a freelancer in my part time but, well I part time freelance um, and I'm just growing 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 my career at the moment so just really working slowly working towards becoming a full time illustrator but um, we'll see how things go but this is uh, my first proper entry to uh, Twitch streaming. I feel it's been very successful. My first proper try. Thanks again for watching, and until the next time I come online, have a lovely evening, day, night, morning, whatever. Be seeing ya. Bye bye.